Good morning, everyone. I would first like to thank you all uh, for coming to Subisu Conclave 2, presented by Solution 360. I would first also like to thank all our customers who have been helping us, who have been supporting us and guiding us for all these years for better services. Now, today we have a very interesting panel and speakers. Unfortunately, uh, one of the speakers uh, met with an accident, Mr. David Hobb, uh, in the US, and uh, he is hospitalized today, and uh, I wish him for a uh, speedy recovery. So, moving further, today we have blockchain. When you talk about blockchain, it is, we think about cryptocurrency. But we have seen blockchain not only being used in cryptocurrency, but it has been used in different services like governance, so, uh, security, and transport services. Today, blockchain, we are focusing on cybersecurity. To throw us more light on cybersecurity through blockchain, we have Radware from Israel, who will be presenting their paper, and followed by a panel discussion on blockchain for cybersecurity. Quality of internet has been of great concern to a lot of retail and corporate customers. And being a service provider, we also think that this needs to be discussed. So today, in our conclave too, we have put QS of internet. So how do we measure the quality of internet? And to throw more light on the internet, we have Tata Communication, who is the tier one service provider to all the major service provider in Nepal. So I know there are some serious users in the room today, and panelists, I see some of the panelists uh, already. Well, please be ready for some tough questions. Security of public places, offices, and homes has been of great concern to all. We today have Tyco systems who will be presenting on their secured integrated systems. Hope to get more information on how we can move forward on securing our places. In fact, apart from the hundreds of airports they have secured, today our international airport is being secured by Tyco systems. Mankind has progressed by doing research and development. I think we can get answers to any questions, anything, if we do research and development. Magasese Award winner, Dr. Mahabir Poon, is similarly trying to convince us all to invest more on research and development through his innovation center. Let's hear what he has to say today on his innovation center. Dai, hats off to you for trying to make Nepal more competitive. Data center is getting popular around the world. And similarly, in Nepal also, we've seen in recent years 
different enterprises investing in building their own data centers. If not, they have started co-locating their equipment in third-party data centers. Today, we have market leader, Vertiv, presenting their solution to us all. I hope we can, through this presentation, we can know more about the future of data center. Nepal government has been focusing on digital Nepal. As we also hear now and then that we should go digital and the government bringing in policies from broadband policy to the recent, recently drafted IT bill. We think they are quite serious in implementing digitization in Nepal. But different experts have their own views on how we need to take forward digitization in Nepal. Today, we have a very strong panel. We will be discussing on digital transformation in Nepal. Before I conclude, I would like to request you all that please request Suvisu Conclave as a platform to discuss, to interact, and to share your knowledge to better our society through ICT. Thank you all.